ever wonder how fast your ammo is going by the time it hits the target? Me too. Let's check it out. Don't go away. Um, so today we're going to be taking some shots uh, from a couple from a couple of distances, and um, we want to see what kind of speeds we can get straight from the catapult, and then. We're going to see what kind of speed the ammo is going by the time we hit the target. So uh, I think this is kind of important to know just for uh, those of you who like to uh, go hunting or target shooting or all this stuff, just to have an idea of what your ammo is doing uh, while you're out shooting for whatever purpose. Um, I think it's going to be pretty interesting. So I'm going to be shooting eight millimeter steel today and I'm going to turn the camera around real quick. And we'll show you what kind of uh, what bands and what uh, framing we're using. So let's, let's get into it. All right. So today we're going to be shooting the Cygnus from Prime 4 Catapults. This is uh, no stranger to the channel. I've done a lot of shooting with this guy. Absolutely love this frame. We've also got some Silenzi 8 uh, bands on here. Wacky name, but great bands. Uh, I got 0.6 on here. We are shooting in the cold. We got a little bit, a little winter going on here. I will do a review on these bands eventually, but uh, for now we're just going to get out and shoot. These bands are not... I repeat, they are not maxed out. They're actually set up how I like to shoot my bands. Nice, comfortable, smooth. So please don't use this video as a um, as a review or a speed test or anything like that. It will not be accurate for the potential of these bands. These are just set up as how I like to shoot them comfortably. I also have a West Mitchell pouch on here. And um, I guess it's time to uh, back this puppy up and uh, take some shots. All right, guys. So I gotta say I'm kind of nervous about the about the shooting today. I haven't shot at all since around uh, mid-November, maybe the end of November. Uh, it's been a uh, been a bit of a shit show on my end here. So uh, hopefully we can uh, get uh, back on track and uh, and do some decent shooting today and uh, not embarrass myself or destroy my crony. So uh, basically, here's the plan. I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take a shot. Try to eliminate. All other var variables of uh, speed. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my anchor. I'm going to stretch my shot out, count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and release. I'm going to do that with all shots today, trying to keep, uh, try to eliminate any variables that may may mess with the speed at all, um, just to get an idea of how fast the ammo is going when it leaves my frame and how fast the ammo is going when it hits my target. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take the first shot. And I'm going to count out loud one Mississippi, two Mississippi before I release, just so you guys uh, have an idea of uh, the time frame I'm holding the, uh, the shot. Here it goes. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. So we got 239.7 feet per second. I'll do one more shot like that, and we'll see how it goes. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Ah, it was a little early, but anyway, 234, uh, 234 uh, feet per second. So I'm going to go ahead and back the crony up now, uh, right in front of that can, and we're going to take a couple of whacks at it and uh, follow the exact same procedure. Just going to mark my shooting line. There we go. So uh, I'm going to go on down there, and I'll uh, be back when it's set up. Okay, so we got the crony set up at 10 meters. We're going to go ahead and take our two shots. Same thing again, one Mississippi, two Mississippi release, and we'll see what kind of speed we're getting. Here it comes. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Looks like 119.1 from here. Here comes the second shot. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. And we got 116. Can't make out the last number, but we got around one, uh, sorry, 216. So, okay, so here we are back at 15 meters. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of shots uh, from here and uh, see what kind of speeds we're getting from up close and and at the at the targets, uh, at the target distance. But the, uh, the first two shots really shouldn't be uh, any different than the first go around at 10 meters, but... I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot the uh, shoot the shots anyway and uh, record them just for uh, shits and giggles. So, here comes the first two. Same rules apply. 
One Mississippi, two Mississippi release. Here we go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. 29.3. Right in and around that speed we were getting from the, uh, the first shot. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. 227.7. So we're pretty much banging there. I'm going to go ahead and take this target, put it on down there. And uh, see how it goes. Now I'm sweating a little. I'm going to come back and take my shots from over here. But it's going to be hard for me to see what's going on. So I'm going to move you over there so you can see the speeds coming off that thing while I'm shooting. Hopefully I don't hit the crony. Hopefully I don't hit the camera. Let's see how it goes. Okay. That should be a pretty good view of the speeds and, uh, and the target and how bad I'm going to miss. So uh, I'm going to head on back there. I'm going to bring the microphone with me so you can hear me pretty good. Um, but uh, anyway. Let's get into it, see how it goes. Okay, here we are back at the line. Here comes the first shot. And again, same rules, two Mississippis before the release. Here we go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. I can't see the speed from where I'm at, but you guys can. And uh, we'll do a voiceover of that in a couple of minutes. All right, here we go. Second shot. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Wow, I hit it. Well, there's the speeds. Can't wait to see how fast these things went. Well, guys, if that, if that, uh, if this little video doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, explain why you need to learn how to tune your bands properly and understand how all this works, uh, I don't know what will, but just to keep in mind uh, the importance of having a chronograph uh, at home so you can test your bands just to maintain the same speeds. Consistency is key to accuracy. Everybody knows this, um, but part of consistency is also speed. So if you're going to be taking shots from 10 meters and then taking shots again from 15 meters, we saw a huge difference in speed. We lost uh, at 10 meters to, 50, to, uh, to the from the 10 meter mark to the uh, target mark, we lost about 15 feet per second, but we lost almost 30 feet per second, five more yards back. Now that's a big difference. Now imagine if you're shooting a game at 25 meters with light ammo, are you, are you dropping that critter? Probably not, you're probably wounding it unless you hit him right in the eyeball. Um, I don't know what else to say, but it's very important to know your speeds from when they're leaving your frame versus where they're hitting a the target if you're gonna plan on going hunting or even target shooting uh, at different ranges uh, to make sure that you can constantly keep the same consistency and accuracy. So I, th I think this, uh, this, uh, this little test here cleared up a lot of questions that uh, some people may have and what kind of speeds you're going through. Now keep in mind, the bands were going a little bit on the slower side today, but even in summertime, it shouldn't make that much a difference. If we're losing, if we're shooting at uh, minus eight degrees like it is today and we're going and we're going from 10 meters to 15 meters or and so on it should be the same thing in summertime we're going to lose around the same speeds uh and uh, uh you know the same speed uh from the di different distances now you could just imagine um if we lost that much speed at 15 meters if i backed up another five meters to 20 meters and took a shot then i think we would uh, be around the 150 mark maybe uh, it seems to really, really drop off quick the farther you go from uh, that mark. Uh, maybe in, in the future, I'll uh, give this another test uh, when I'm uh, when I'm back in form and I've uh, done some more shooting, get the uh, muscle memory going. We could test this out with different ammo and see what kind of speeds differences we're getting with those two. See if it's around the same 15 or if the heavier projectile will make it even a, a, a bigger, uh, bigger difference. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. A little food, food for thought for you. And uh, anyways, you guys take care. Get on practice. Stay safe. Be good to each other. I'll see you again soon. You know I love you guys. Freaking awesome. Take care. All right. Before we go, we're going to have to finish off that can. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you all had an amazing holiday season and I wish you all nothing but love, happiness, and health in 2023. There is one thing I would like to try in the future is possibly shooting one shot with the crony right in front of me, the crony at five yards, and then the crony at 10 yards.
and see what the difference in speed is. I have a hunch that maybe when the ball releases, it actually keeps on picking up speed for a little while before it ends up uh, tapering off. It would be fun to, to test that out. Let me know in the comments if you're interested. All right, so that's it for this one. You guys take care. Stay safe and shoot straight. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.